What is up, fam? It is a beautiful, beautiful Thursday. A little hot where I am in the world. It's a little, it's a little hot. It's probably gonna rain again. I needed to cool off a little bit so I can go outside and get my walk on because that walking is super important when you sit on your butt like as much as <laughs> I do. Um, all right, so if you have been feeling and I feel like all of us have in our own way, even if we're recognizing it or not, you feel it, this like insane amount of just feelings, energy, whatever word resonates with you, you know what I'm talking about. Welcome to the Lionsgate portal of 88. And you can read all about that. I'm not gonna go into a whole big detail about it. Although for those of you who know what it is, that's big cat energy. It is hilarious to me, by the way, that today on Twitter, International Cat Day is trending. That's, can't make this up with astrology. I love astrology. Um, so, but today is a really great day for setting intentions. And after a really rough day yesterday, I really wanted to make sure that I set in that type of energy and mindset and did it today and I decided to make a video so we can dream big together. So I'm gonna share with you my intentions for the next six months and we're gonna set them and then I'll probably do like some woo woo ritual shit like later tonight with my candles and stuff. I'm not videotaping that, that's private, that's my stuff. That's my time. I gotta sage and shit. Um, I gotta do all that, I gotta cleanse my energy space but I wanted to to put this out there and I wanted to encourage um, you guys to do the same and you don't have to make a video but you can respond to the tweet or you can respond to the blog post because this will be up on my website or just you know share your I dream big energy thought process whatever too because I'm, I'm making a point to really look back on the year that I've had so far and there's been some amazing growth and I feel like we don't always give ourselves enough credit for where we're at, where we're where we've come from, especially when we're still struggling to get to the place that we want to be. Um, so I guess so the first thing I want to do is really just sit in gratitude of that and I'm going to breathe with you. Bro, that deep breathing life is what is up. Um, yeah, just sit in gratitude for a second of where you've come from. I know for me, um, web design business had a nice boom towards the beginning of the year, which was wonderful because I was able to um, go to some weddings for some very close friends of mine and bring friends along and bring my girlfriend along and just have a really wonderful time and be able to enjoy myself without worry. Um, I've been able to support some other content creators at various moments very quietly. I just slipped into people's whatever and I just donated or whatever I could do. Um, and it was awesome to be able to do that. I want to do more of that. Um, physically, I am starting to feel better. Like I put some weight back on. So that's been a really positive thing. Mentally, I am slowly but surely getting to where I want to be. Um, and I just, you just feel, or I just feel the change. It's been slow, it's been a process, but it's coming. Um, being able to sit more in my, my creativity has been nice. I haven't been able to do it as often as I wanted, but in so far, it's been really, really nice to be able to do that um, and to continue to share the process. So that's just, um, and my family's been wonderful. I've had a, a really supportive, wonderful, supportive um, family. Um, my girlfriend is wonderful. I'm in the most loving relationship possible. And that's just been so like fucking amazing as well. Um, so there's just a lot to be grateful for. And I wanna, I think we should sit in that for like another few seconds and just breathe through it. So you take your time and, and uh, sit in your own gratitude and really fucking pat yourself on the back. Be like, fuck, I'm patting my shoulder. Pat yourself on the back, floof the fro for power, whatever. Um, where you've come from and it don't quantify it don't measure it just be like what awesome things have I been able to accomplish the last six months that maybe I never thought I'd be able to accomplish at some point last year or wow you know I've seen I've also seen some great growth 
on my social media, which is really important for me and engagement and being able to meet um, new people and connect with them about, you know, geeky stuff. And I want to see that continue to grow. So there's just been, what am I forgetting? I feel like I'm forgetting things. There's just a lot to be grateful for. Um, and I think it's really, really hard to sit in these moments of gratitude, especially when you're stressed out about like mundane shit, like fuck these bills, fuck this, fuck this income, fuck all this you know, fuck this, fuck that. Like, it's really, really hard to be like, oh, but no, nah, we're going to do that today. We're going to be like, yes, but all this other stuff has happened too. So let's breathe into that shit again, y'all. Let's just, ah, oh, deep breathing is so great. And if you're like really woo woo, open them chakras up, open them up, open them up, spin them motherfuckers, spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it. I think I missed one. They're all through here. Spin it, open them up. And when you're doing this, just as an aside, because I have a busy brain, and I know a lot of people have a busy brain, let the brain go. Let the brain do do whatever the fuck it's going to do. Um, you breathe. You breathe and let your mind, you are, I am inhale, I am exhale. And you focus on just how that feels and let your mind fucking do whatever it's going to do it because it's going to do it. Ah, oh, that's nice. That's nice. So a lot to be grateful for, fam. A lot to be grateful for. Um, and yeah, it's been awesome. It's just, it's been, yeah, it's been awesome, you know. It, and that's not to not recognize the moments that have been hard or whatever, but fuck all that. It's been lots, lots to be grateful for. Lots to be grateful for. Yeah, okay. Um, and so now that we've kind of sat in that, um, I want to set my intentions for the next six months. I want to just put that out there. And I wrote them down because I'm a writer. And for me, words are, are powerful. Um, I think words are powerful just regardless. I think language is powerful. I, I think um, our tone and our intentions behind words, whatever. That's like some woo-woo shit. But whatever, it's powerful for me. Um, so I definitely need, you know, for me, it's very important that I put things to paper. And then I also want to, it's part of my... North Node and Leo journey to not just hide behind the words, but to also speak them and put them out there and, you know, that sort of thing. So I'm working on that. Um, so I am going to share my intention setting. And this is just for like the next six months. I've, I found on my computer, too, that I also have a, a whole document that I wrote for where I wanted to be next year, like at the beginning of January. Um, and that was cool rereading that before I said this. So now I'm just thinking about like, Let's just, you know, let's just set some big, amazing fucking intentions. Just let your imagination go. Like, no restrictions, no but, if, what, no, fuck all that. Just what are your intentions for the next six months? What do you want? Ask for that shit. Why not? Literally, and I'm sorry if I'm shaking the hammer. I'm in bed. You see, I'm in bed. I'm all comfy as shit. Um, ask for that shit. Why not? Literally, why not? Why not? I mean, don't believe in astrology. Don't believe in this woo-woo shit. It doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. Put it out there anyway and see what happens and believe in it. Believe in yourself. Believe in your ability to to do these things, to, to figure it out. This is a great day to just have that fucking no-holds-barred, fuck optimistic, just believe that shit. Even if you can only believe it for five minutes. <laughs> Just believe it. Set your enchantments. Hold on to them. Come back to them later. You know, whatever. However you want to do it. So here are mine. Here are my intentions, what I want for just the next, up right up until like the end of the year. Um, and I am, I am open to, and I'm trying not to be married to how these things come about. And that's a difficult process for somebody who's a bit of a control freak like I am and likes to know all the things. Um, 
it's, it's, it's an interesting balance there where you have to have a plan and also not be married to the plan. Right. Right. It makes my brain like whatever. <sighs> Shit, shit's real, y'all. Shit's real. But anyway, here are my intentions. So what I really want is um, I want steady signups for my web design course. And I want that for a couple of reasons. One, I, it's going to be a great um, passive income, which would be wonderful, which is something that I really want to kind of add to ways that I make money. Um, and I think it would be a great help to people, especially people who are on tight budgets or just want to learn how or whatever. I've got knowledge. I want to share it. So I really want to see more signups for my web design course. I want to see steady signups like every month. I want people to be signing up for this course and taking advantage of it and giving me feedback and, and, um, you know, really taking control of, uh, the, you know, the powerful marketing tool and just tool that a website is for, you know, especially content creators and authors and just small businesses and every, you need a fucking website, whatever. I'm not going to go on that speech, but, but anyway, I want to see my my intention is to really see some amazing signups happen for that, um, especially because I would like to shift away from one-on-one -on -one client work. I love doing one-on-one -on -one client work. That's great. But I want to be able to free up my time to do other things. So I really want to say, see people take advantage um, of the web design course, especially because we live in a very kind of do-it-yourself climate. And there's a lot of technology out there that makes it very easy to do that. And I want to see people do it the right way and take advantage of you know being able to build professional sites for themselves and what the hell ever. Um, so yeah, so I want to see, I want to see, I want that to be a, a you know, a, a great, um, abundant monthly, um, you know, set of income for steady signups for the web design course. Um, I want to see steady signups on my website for my Sonarchy membership where you can get behind the scenes stuff with me. I, I am loving um, brainstorming with people, sharing my creative process, all that kind of stuff. Um, I think it's super fun to, to, and it's super fun for me to dive into the Sonarchy world in that way. So when I put together the PDF files from SVT Securities, they're written like it's from an SVT Securities agent. And I've got voice actors that I want to come and read them to do an audio format. And then you get like a file and there's stuff that I'll, you know, put in the mail for you. So I really want to just immerse people in the world that I'm building I think it's funny shit. And I, and I love, and I, I know, and I would love to see more of that from, you know, from other authors. And I think it's because I come from like a role play background too. Shout out to all the role players. Um, so I, I want to see more people um, geeking out with me about that and, and being excited about the world that I'm creating because that's, you know, that's ultimately what I, what I really, really, really want. Big goal is to make Sonarchy something that people love, that people love to, they want to write fan fiction about this world. And they want to do fan art about this world. And they want to complain the world. And they want to read the books. And they want to watch the TV shows. And that's what I want to build for Sonarchy. I'm cool with small. I dream big, though. We can start small. Let's just start with, I'm going to finish this fucking book. And let's just start with some memberships where you guys get to, you know, dive behind the scenes of Sonarchy with me. So that's, I mean, it's all done. It's all on the website. So I want to start seeing um, steady signups there. I'd love to see more signups there than on the web design course, to be completely honest, because I mean, the creative content stuff is where, is where my, my passion really, really lies. But I love helping people. I genuinely love helping people. So um, that's the thing. Um, I want to see my book sales increase. I am still like any other author where I'm like, oh my God, the first book. Fuck. You almost like you want to rewrite it because you learn, you know, you learn so much as an author and you grow. You're like, oh my God, I can make it so much. Whatever. Um, but I want to see more people buying book one, buying book two. I'd love to see audiobook sales go up. I need to finish the audiobooks. Um, you can pre-order them now for some awesome shit too. They are definitely on the pipe. I'm like halfway done with book one. So I'm hoping to get done with book one this month. That is really a goal to get. Um, done with book one, but I got a lot to do. I got a, the web design course and stuff. I'm trying. But if we're setting intentions, and that is what I'm doing right now, I want to see more book sales, especially as I gear up and get book three finished. I want to see more people like, oh shit, Sonarchy, check that shit out. I want to see more of that. Um, yes, so that's my intention. A increase in book sales, especially the audiobooks. That is what will happen. Um, I want to get um, paid to do what I love, paid to do what I create, whether that's from Twitch or Mixer or the Woo Woo Hour podcast that I'm bringing back. I want um, to see 
um, you know, feedback and, and just that yas type of for the content that I'm creating. You know, you'd love it, or I would love it if somebody was just like, I want to see this Wuwa Hour podcast once a week. Take this. Do it. Because I would. I literally would do that. That is something that I cannot wait till I'm able to do, to just slide up into creators and DM and be like, what you need? No holds barred, no contract, no nothing. What you need? Take it. Bye. Go create more stuff. Do it. The world needs more people to do more things, what they love and they just, we just do, we just fucking do. Um, I would, I am, I'm literally that person. Um, so I want to see that. I want, I want to see that. I want to, I want to, yes, I just want to have that freedom and that, um, ah, oh, you just, you know, you know, you just want to be paid to create what you love that other people love too, that they find valuable. You want to be creative, something of value and imagination and just yas, you know, the yas. So that's what I want. That's what I want to see the next six months. Um, and like I'm saying, I want, you know, and as I'm, I'm getting all this, it's awesome because that will give me the ability to pay it forward. So I want to work with voice actors and artists. Um, God, I need artists. I need artists. There's so much. I wish I could draw. Oh my God, I wish I could draw because there have been so many like scenes for Sonarchy or characters or things in my brain that I wish I could fucking draw and I can't draw. I cannot do, I cannot even draw a stick figure. This is not my strength. <laughs> I can write some shit. I cannot draw, I cannot draw a straight line with a ruler. That's real talk. That is real talk. I cannot, you want, but I just want to be able to collaborate with all these other creatives to just, to just do more stuff. And like I said, I want to just be able to, to pay it forward um, all the time. Like all the time, like you just want to be able to just do that like every day to just, if you could just take the joy that you are feeling and the support that you are getting and literally give that to someone else. I, time is so short, you guys. It's so short and it's something that we don't get back. We have to spend more of it doing what we love. We just have to. Which, and we have to support other people so they can do what they love, especially if we're if we're finding value in it and we're loving it and we're enjoying it and we're like, yes, I'm saying that a lot, but yes, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, I want I want to be able to do more of that these next six months and beyond. Um, and then, real personally, I want to feel better, slowly but surely. But I want to really be healed, really, really. These stomach issues, I'm done. I'm over it. So. I will be healed physically all that shit will resolve itself in the next six months uh mentally more progress more more progress mentally that's why i want to see i want to feel uh stronger and more confident and i'm phrasing this wrong i will feel stronger i will feel more confident i will um I wrote it down. I will feel stronger. I will feel more confident. I will believe in myself and my ability to create these things more. And physically, I will feel better. Okay. I think that I have, I have, that's enough, right? I think it's enough for six months. I think that's enough for six months for the next six months. It's a lot, right? It's good. I like it. So those are the things that I will create. I will see that will happen in the next six months. Sooner than later, I'm a little impatient. I'm just gonna be real. Waiting for shit? Fuck. I need to breathe more. More meditation. All right, that's it. That, that's what I wanted to do with you guys. What are your intentions for this awesome Lionsgate portal just in general? What do you wanna see happen in your lives over the next six months? Tell me so I can throw some fucking good juju at you. We can throw fucking good juju at each other. Maybe we can find ways to sustainably uh, or creatively, practically fucking collaborate with each other about our creative projects, whatever. I'm fuck. Um, that's it. Breathe. Go for a walk today. Be kind to yourself. If you are, um, I just want to remember that too, like, um, just put that out there too, that I know a lot of us might be feeling like all woo woo and yeah, and kind of like, I'm chill. Like I just smoked some weed, but I didn't smoke weed type of chill. And then other, some of us might be like, oh my fucking God, I have the flu. Or you might be feeling really heavy and just be kind. It's a lot of energy that's coming in. You might, you know, process how you need to process. Don't ignore it. You know, take time to listen to yourself and really um, talk to yourself and be like, you know, what am I feeling? Why am I feeling this way? Um, and, you know, let your emotions come up. Let your inner child 
you know, have her way and kind of be like, no, you not listening. I need you to listen, listen to her, listen, and then give her a hug and tell her it's going to be all right. And then you'll be all right. Um, gratitude, pat yourself on the back, do that shit. That's it. That's all I got. That's enough. I'll just ramble on for like the next hour, repeating myself over and over again. Those are my intentions. So say we all. All right, fam. Tell me yours. I'm out. I got some chilling to do. Bye.